guys beekeeping, just wanted to run through um, the hive that I'm using at the moment. Um, it's been a while since I've done a post, um, and I just wanted to update on the type of hive I'm using. So this is it. So um, it's horizontal hive. Um, obviously, it, it takes um, roughly around 20 frames. So I used to put only 19 in there just to keep a bit more space. Um, and I'll show you inside of the hive soon, but um, I just wanted to go through the outside at the moment. So now you see the top cover. So it's actually a, a telescopic lid. Um, standard construction. Um, but what it does is it's good because when it comes down, it leans on your legs and it gives uh, about a 60 mil um, cavity inside. So um, in the summer, uh, as you can see, You've got your vent holes um, that allow air to come up, and your inner cover has got the screens on it to allow the, the hive to vent. And I've also got another one inch hole there, um, which I use um, to feed if necessary. Yeah, so it fits together well. Um, and then also on the sides, I've just got. slides on it and down. I've just got um, wire here that I'll lock it down with. So obviously the wind or nothing can blow the top off. Um, I like this, uh, this height. As you can see, it's pretty much perfect for me. I can inspect the bees. What I try to do is when I, um, I'm inspecting, I will only take it off the inner cupboard a certain amount, so I'm not exposing the hole colony only a certain section um, and as you can see it's perfect height so you can remove the frames put them back in um, and be good to go very easy no bending down um, to inspect your colony all right we'll run through the inside of the hive um, as you can see it's not full of frames I've got a follower board um, so that allows me to maintain the size of the hive um, to exactly what I want. So um, it's really handy over winter. Um, I can reduce that colony size down by um, a frame at a time to get it perfect for um, overwintering. Now, hopefully you can see inside the actual box at the back there, um, and I'll turn the hive over in a minute and you can see better. I've got a screen, I've, I've drilled one inch holes all the way along and I've got a, um, a mesh to go over the top to stop the beetles coming in um, and what it allows me to do is to remove remove some of these um, in, in summer um, or all of them I do in the middle of summer here in Wagga, it's really hot um, and it allows that hive to ventilate a lot better. Um, and in the front, as you can see, is the entrances. So um, it's a little bit different. I've got three entrances. If I turn the hive over, you can see probably a bit better that way. So three entrances and all the um, ventilation holes at the back of the hive. Um, so another important part of this hive, and it's really quite hard to see because it's not as sun. There you go. So what I've done in the corner right here it's just drilled, um, it's probably about an eight mil hole um, and it goes onto the outside um, and I just put a bit of, um, has to be open cell foam to allow the water to drain through. And then when the hive is installed, I actually make sure that it's sloped down that way and to the back. So, um, cause they produce so much condensation in the winter. Um, so when it, it needs to drain out, it can drain out that back hole. Um, which is one of the things I've found really handy, keep them dry over the winter. Uh, another thing I forgot to mention is um, the cavity in the top, like I said before, so it ventilates um, during the summer, but it's really good also in the winter. Um, what I do is put an insulating material in on top of the inner cover, um, so it stops the, obviously it stops the air coming up, what I'll hopefully it will do it stops a lot of the condensation forming on the inner cover underneath here and then dripping down onto the bees. Um, as you probably know, bees are probably are pretty good at um, coping with the cold, um, but if they're wet and cold, that's when it really knocks them around.
Um, yeah, so that's what I do. I put some insulation all on top and then the telescopic lid. Sits over. Easy as.